So, hey, I'm the crown because I'm King Potato. I mean, I don't see a lot of other potatoes around, but I'm pretty sure I'm the king because I'm the best. Wanna see my butt? <laughs> This is your girl Alicia. I am coming to you in um, my kids' playroom. Um, if y'all see trash on the floor, it's a fucking playroom. I don't always clean up when I'm supposed to. I have shit on top of our desk. Broke. <sighs> Look, real parents know what I'm talking about. Anyway, oh, give me a second. I'm gonna fix this honey's towel. Fix this ponytail. All right, yeah. Okay, so it has been a minute, excuse me, since I've come on here. Um, it's been a long fucking time. So this video is just gonna um be a little catch up, and oh excuse me, um I didn't fart. That was my nails, my uh ring hitting the table. But it's gonna be a little catch up, and I'm gonna show y'all some of the stuff that I have purchased and I have been using, and hopefully you guys might find some interest in this. All right, so let's get started. So I've been on this skin journey, and I started back in like March or April with the Admire My Skin Serum. And um, <clears throat> it's a good serum, and I'm not taking anything away from it. It definitely clears up the hyperpigmentation, but with that, you have to be you have to be really careful. Um, I did experience chemical burn. Um, I might have been using it too often, but um, I don't really want to hop into something that I have to be touches with. If that makes any sense. I just, I don't got time for that. I don't have time for that. I need something that I can wash my face with, put on my skin, and I know my skin is going to be straight. So, I had to lay off of that. Um, I plan on using it, like, sparingly, but not the way I was using it at first. Well, I found this uh, soap company um, in the midst of um, trying to support more black-owned businesses. I found this soap company. It's called Urban Eden. Um, they sell all of their soaps are they're all natural soaps. Okay, um, I'm not sure if they're organic or not. I think they are, <laughs> but look, I pay attention, but I don't pay that much attention. But they're all natural. Um, I ordered a couple of soaps from them back in like June or July. After I did extensive research, because I'm like, please, I don't need anybody stealing my coin, especially not during a pandemic. Um, I did some research or whatever, and they were a legit company. I ordered from soap, some soaps from them, and, you know, again, with the whole um, supporting black-owned businesses, the, and, and this sounds really bad, but the hype on that caused shipping to be trash. So, it was literally like almost a two month wait for my initial order. There are a couple soaps that I really, 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 really love from them. Um, it's actually three soaps that I, I, you know, like every time I get like this month right now, they have a thing where they're doing free shipping, excuse me. Mm. You get your shipping label and you get your soap. So I, I think I did get the five for twenty five. So they come, <laughs> they come packaged uh, or well wrapped in white tissue paper. They don't use a whole lot of packaging, which I I like. I appreciate that. So this right here is the oatmeal honey. This doesn't really have a scent. Um, they say this one is. It's a natural exfoliant because, you know, oatmeal is a natural exfoliant. Um, it is good for eczema and sensitive skin. It has coconut oil, palm oil, shea butter, 
sodium hydroxide, which is what you need to pretty much make soap, um, distilled water, oatmeal, and raw honey. Uh, and it, it calms the skin. Like this, I use this for my kids. I don't really use it for me. And it's really good for their skin. Like, my kids don't suffer from eczema or nothing, but it's really gentle on their skin. And I like it. It's no smell. This is the rose water, um, ro is rose water kefir and lavender. That's what it is. Rose water kefir and lavender. It smells like roses, but not like the artificial smell of roses. Um, let me get that up there so you guys can see that. Um, if you see anything on the label that's just from the soap and they top it with, oop, it's falling off, but they sprinkle like little ro dry rose petals at the top. It's like a pinkish color one. On the back, it gives you the ingredients. Um, this has the basis of all their soaps. So the coconut oil, palm oil, shea butter, distilled water, sodium hydroxide. Um, it has an essential oil blend of lavender, lemon, bergamot, geranium, rose water kefir, and rose clay. They say that this is really, this is what they um, would consider their yoni soap. So that's what I use it for. Well, that's what I initially started using it for. But then I noticed that my skin loved it. So I just use it as an all-over soap, which is really nice to have a soap that you can use on your body and your yoni. Ladies know what a yoni is. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't have to explain that. Then I think this one is my, yes, my tea tree and turmeric soap. And again, whoop. It has the label on the or the ingredients on the back. Um, this one isn't really topped with anything. This one has more of a medicinal smell to it, but this soap, y'all, like this soap has helped my skin so much with the overall glow that I have. Not that y'all can really see, but um, I don't know. For some reason, this side of my face breaks out more. I have a lot of hyperpigmentation on this side, and I have like minimal not minimal but like a little bit of hyperpigmentation on this side compared to this side but this has really helped my skin a lot um i don't have sensitive skin i have acne prone skin and it's really really good for my skin honestly i would recommend anybody try this this is a really good way to go it's a natural way to go um it has brought back the luster to my skin uh, it shrinks my pores without having to use a whole lot of weird stuff, but yeah, so the tea tree and turmeric, um, they sell body butters, they sell the whole face kit and caboodle, so like toners, face oils, body oils, different things like that, and again, that is Herb and Eden. Since we're on the topic of facial shit, um, I, not so much as facial, but like body cleansing and stuff um i was looking at a youtube i think her name is elise i forgot what her name is i forgot what her name is she from baltimore she represent boo boo she made a mention of this um bath net not a mat this bath net that she uses and it gently exfoliates her skin it la like it la lathers soap well and you know it helps her get her back because you know motherfuckers don't be washing their back and where i'm from bitch you're supposed to wash your back and your feet but you know just saying and you're supposed to scrub so if you don't do that i'm not judging you but i'm judging you so I was really interested because me and my family, we look for hard-ass washcloths so we can, like, scrub that dirt the fuck off. You know, scrub the day away. Anyway, um, this net was $6. It's a stretchy net. Um, I think this is about three feet, four feet, three, I don't know. But, um, it does. It lathers soap, like, soap lathers well on it. Um, you can reach your fucking back. It does gently exfoliate your skin. Um, what I will say with those Urban Eden soaps, I noticed that I do not have to use as much lotion when I get out the shower. It's like I almost have on lo lotion, like it moisturizes your skin. It has shea butter in it. This this is really good to have. Um, I'm going to try to link it in the um, description box below. If not, please don't be upset. Just go on Amazon and look up 
a shower net or bathing net and you will find it. This has been really awesome. I love this thing. I say um a lot. Some people have said that witch hazel is not really good for your skin, but um, it's been working for me. And when you find something that works, what do you do? You stick with it. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? I make my own toner pads. Um, I got some makeup in here. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm running kind of low. But you just take some cotton rounds, and I really like these cotton rounds from Walmart. They are, I think, like $2. Take you some cotton pads, put them in a container, and dump your toner in there. And you have cotton pads that you can take with you on the go. Or you can just make the toner pads just to use on a daily basis because that's what I do. But, um, yeah, so that comes in handy. My favorite little toner. You've seen my soap. Um, moving on from the hygienic side of it, the other day I called myself straightening my hair and it was humid here. It was humid and it was raining. Yeah, it was like 70 some degrees outside. It was humid and it was raining. And I turned this to a poodle, but prior to that, I did manage to get a nice little straight situation going on. And I do the chase method, so like you chase the rat tail comb the fine tooth comb with your flat iron and you get a flatter result with one pass so i'm like there has to be something that i can use that would um be like that but like hold the hair steady where i don't have to you know finagle so i found this in sally's i don't know if it's showing up or not um it is a professional straightening and cutting comb let me get it out of here. So it's almost like almost like tongs. So like you would just take the hair and you would put the hair in between there, close it. Well, I mean, don't it would it wouldn't it doesn't break your hair off, but be kind of careful, I guess. And just chase it with the flat iron. I like this, um, but it does take some getting used to. This was $7.99 at Sally's, and um, since we're on the topic of Sally's. Sally's has gotten a fucking credit card, bitches. Like, I don't know how y'all feel about Sally's, but I like Sally's because a lot of the natural hair stuff that I use, I can find at Sally's. And like I said, they have gotten a credit card and your girl got one. And I have done an awesome little haul for myself. And I'm going to come to you guys when that stuff comes in. But, um, yeah, this, uh, this is a nice little gadget to have. Again, $7.99 from Sally's. I'm sure they probably got them on Amazon too, but I'm not really sure how much they are on Amazon. My birthday weekend is coming, and like last year, guys, um, I am going on a little vacation. It's not really a vacation. It's a fucking weekend getaway. Like, we're doing Friday, come back, leave Friday, come back Sunday. We're going to Norfolk, Virginia. We plan, on, we plan on staying at the main yet again. Um, unfortunately, this year, I could not get any tickets to motherfucking Bush Gardens Halloween Fest or whatever it's called because of COVID and you have to make reservations. So <laughs> me being the procrastinator that I am, I was unable to get motherfucking reservations and or tickets. So I can't go, but I'm still going away for the weekend. And I'm tired of taking my suitcase. I normally share a suitcase. I'm like, I'm tongue-tied. I normally share a suitcase with my husband, and I didn't feel like doing that shit again. I'm tired of doing it, especially if I'm not going away that long. Why do I really need a fucking suitcase? Granted, that's one bag and my little fan that I would have to carry. But I'm just like, no, I don't I don't want to do that. I don't want to share a suitcase. So I got me a overnight bag. I got this from Amazon for... I don't know how much I paid for it. I know me, I'm cheap. But I got this overnight bag. Um, it is by O'Flan. I don't know. I don't know how you pronounce that. But um, I got it from Amazon. It's a really cute bag. It's a nice size bag. Okay. 
y'all know how I feel about these nautical ass colors. Like anybody who has followed me on Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube, y'all know that I love nautical, nautical, nautical fucking colors. Like the stripes, everything, everything nautical, anything that does with the water, I fucking love it. But here's the bag. This is, this is the bag. It's a really big bag. I think it's like a 21, 21 or 22 inch weekender bag. Um, it has, I think it has like the little things. Yeah, it has the little protectors at the bottom, like the little dot thingy where you can sit on the ground and it's, um, supposed to prevent the bottom from being damaged. Um, it has the loops for your arm strap. It has this gorgeous blue arm strap that goes with it. Um, I really like the, um, is it bronze? Brush nickel? I think that's what it is. I think it's brush nickel. I really like the hardware. It's really cute. And with your overnight bag, you also get a toiletry bag. Check this out, y'all. Like, I mean, come on. How cute is this? How fucking cute is this? You get a little toiletry bag. It's a nice size toiletry bag, too. Which is nice because now, you know, me trying to match, I'm going to be like, oh, well, you know, I can't take everything. Gotta take the essentials because you're only going away for a weekend, but then you don't want to be up a bit. So anyway, um, yeah, so you get this nice little toiletry bag. I'll sit that there. I'm going to take this out. Little negligee I got for the weekend. <laughs> so anyway, um... This is the, I don't know if y'all can see, but this is the inside of the bag. It has the nice uh, leather um, details to it. Ooh. Nice leather details. It has the name on the inside and leather. Um, it has an inside pocket. Ooh, drop it. it has, it has a side. Oh. It has a little side pocket with the zipper. Yeah, it's a really nice freaking bag. I'm like, yo, I wasn't expecting it. So I know I didn't pay that much for it if I wasn't expecting it to be super duper nice. Oh, and what was dope is on the back. Um, it has this strap, this not well strap, but this little pocket open pocket thing. So you can like just in case you do use it. With your suitcase, you can loop it onto your suitcase um, suitcase handle so you don't have to carry it around or damage your straps. If y'all wondering, okay, I wear a 40F, yes I said it, I wear a 40F bra. I, uh, it's whatever. I wear a 40th bra. But anyway, I bought me this. Oh my god, like it feels so good on the skin. I bought me a strapless bra and it's actually supportive. Um, it has the, whoop, the rubber in it so it doesn't slip and move. So that's really nice. It's like the black satin. It's a soft cup. It does have wires in it. It's not wires. <laughs> wires. And um, it came with your straps in this really cute little uh, baggy thing. Um, this bra is by Delamira. Your body deserves a perfect fit. They weren't lying. This is a really nice bra. It's really fucking comfortable. Well, it's comfortable when I tried it on. I can't tell you how fucking comfortable it is wearing it around yet. Because I haven't gotten around to that. Can you give me a second? I think that is it for me. I want to thank you guys for watching my videos. I want to thank you for subscribing. Um, you can like, comment, and share. If you haven't already, you can subscribe. 
if not i completely understand because there's people who videos i watch and i go back and just keep watching their videos and watching their videos and never fucking subscribe that's fine too if you wait for me to prove myself that is cool i fucking get it but i just want to thank you guys for watching the video for joining me on this journey here and i'll probably do a video showing you guys what i have in my daughter's well in my kids playroom that is also the classroom anyway so bye i can't turn it off try i'm not turning it off